Welcome everyone, we are the Grin Brothers. Hello again. And with any luck, Rafi will be able to jump through his way through this platforming segment just fine. Oh, oh, they are sending Wilbur against us. Yep. <coughs> Here we go, Raph, the ultimate test. Can you defeat this ultimate trial? Much like whether Yugi could actually take on Weavile, uh oh, whilst Weavile had his cocoon and forest out. It took him could, two times. Could Yugi defeat him using the mountain terrain for his two rock monsters? Which are, I might add, both monsters that specialize in defense. Well, no. Greyguard Mammoth is just kind of terrible. It's an interesting day, a time back in those. Uh, Yugi, have you showed your grandpa's deck? It has Beaver Warrior. <laughs> Beaver Warrior. you got Feral Imp in this deck. Oh, you have sad. two Thunder cards. Beaver Warrior is actually one of his bad cards. And then there's Griffor. No one talks about Griffor. Well, Joey, you have Koroski in your deck. I bet that will ever help you win a duel. Oh. Guy Power Koroski! <laughs> Guy Power exists, buddy. He has a land that actually benefits him. Um, they actually have the Mako Jewel. You know, yeah. War, war yeah. yeah. How'd so... that go? Because that's, that's the one I haven't heard anything of. I've heard I you talk about every other one. Ah. It was kind of a sad joke, honestly. Did you defeat him by having a, sword, a giant soldier of stone pierce the moon with its sword? Because that's what you could do in original Yu Gi Oh! Gosh, that uh, it, it was funny when it was just the mangaka had free reign. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't even know the rules to this myself. I'm just making up as I go along. Yeah, you can do that. You can pierce the moon. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Well, oh, I'm dead. And the two fail the enemy though, enemies being in as well. You can get your stuff and stack on them. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, but you still got the girls, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna die if I take a single hit, but... you It's good that you get the money from the enemies to upgrade your stuff, but it's annoying that you're not getting very few hearts. Yeah, money is a little... So hearts must be primarily the vases then? No, they give you money. More money. Oh. You can occasionally get hearts, but it's usually only half a heart. Speaking of money, for the first time in my life, I've got a check. Because oh. um, when I had my Christmas job, because it was a Christmas job and I was... Um, I ended up being taxed for it, but as if it was a regular job rather than the Christmas one. Seems to be standard. Yeah. But unlike you, who went to the trouble of trying to, you know, sort out so you got your money immediately, I just waited the past the 45 days. And so instead of, you know, sorting it out and getting it into my bank straight away, they just sent me a check. You're aware that's because I did wait past 45 days and I never got my money. Oh, okay. I thought you, um,. Yeah, I thought it was the other way around that you wanted that you wanted your money in your bank rather than as a check. No, they just never gave me my money. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um, but yeah, I've got a check now. All that heart collecting, you've lost all of it now. All your gains. Um. So I'm kind of. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should just. Um, I'm not sure if I can. Because I'm not, I'm really, it's confusing because I've never had a check before, so it's really weird. Um, but I'm wondering if I can, ju I should just cash it into the Grim Brothers bank account instead. I mean, it's only like 27 quid, so just spruce up the Gin Grim Brothers account with like a little bit extra. Do whatever you want with it. Um, your money. Again, Rafi, if you ever want to have something commissioned, you can feel free to throw something into the Grim Brothers account, and I can sort it out on DeviantArt commission. Yeah. Um. Well, you have suggested, much. unfortunately you have suggested, ideas for things to be commissioned. Are you kidding me? And if you just, I think it's like, pop, pop in like, I don't know, 20, 25 quid into the Grim Brothers account, that could be easily arranged. I have no idea what you're on about. I don't know what I've suggested, so. That uh, yes. doesn't surprise me. I'll just say yes and pretend. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um... Now I have to recollect girls, but I'm on full health, so... <clears throat> but yeah, um... You got max, uh... 
gun though. Yeah. That's actually more beneficial, frankly. Because it reset me to the values I was before I entered here. You were max gun before? Yeah. Oh. It's really easy to get max gun because everything gives you money. You haven't had any lag lately. Maybe it's because I'm sitting. I don't know. It also helps I move the switch. Okay. Apparently moving the switch by yeah, like... I just moved it left. An inch. Yeah. Stops it from... I don't understand. Apparently when I... I'm moved... surprised that you didn't notice it. Because frankly, I could have literally stuck it on the ceiling and you wouldn't notice the difference. I wouldn't. I don't pay enough attention. It's not. How did you not notice the demon clown spiders in the room? It wasn't that obvious. It's just assume things are supposed to be there, really. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. That's a lie because assuming I mean, be fair, they're supposed to be there would go on the assumption that I've actually looked. It, it's actually something I actually thought of like as a kind of a superpower sort of thing um, that you could have a character have sort of thing in the. Being completely oblivious. Well, the. People often don't see what they're not looking for. It's yeah. even a phrase sort of thing. And what if, you know, an invisibility type sort of power based off that, which the person, and it doesn't apply just to the person, but stuff the person sort of say sets up. Like, so they set up a trap. Because you're not actively looking for the said person or said trap, you don't see it. Um, isn't that kind of like the invisible man from Mystery Men. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Or his is the case that he's invisible so long as no one's looking at him. So he's invisible to um, security cameras and the like. Yeah. Um, which it's a different utilization. Oh. Time to die, I guess. Well, I'll figure out where the other girl is. Grab them. Yeah. And then kill myself. There. Nom 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 nom. I feel I've eaten that snack yeah. before, but this can't be. It's the first time we've ever done this. Except I'm going to die. Ah. Because I've got one hit. That is a slight problem. Maybe you should have grabbed some hearts before you jumped in to the belly of the beast. Oh, yeah. Did that uh, lag just then, or did you just... I just forgot how to play the game, apparently. I, I, I could see that. It's a little, it's not as starry like it was before, but you've suddenly um, dropped a quality all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I briefly became stupid, okay? I'm willing to bet if I did this off camera. Yeah, you would do amazing. It's the YouTuber's curse, Raf. Or mm. to be fair, there are some cases where a YouTuber's Why curse can't you forget things, from it? like the Paper Mario playthrough, or of Game Grumps, or the. I was not touching that. Or the uh, Pokemon Leaf Green playthrough of. Uh... Yeah, they have no excuse because they have. Are they still trout. continuing that? Are they somehow still alive? Or did you literally have to stop yourself? I stopped watching it. I want to rewatch it. But they had over 15 parts. Wow. Again, yeah. if if they if their skill level can get that far, Pokemon Let's Go has no excuse for itself. Or to be fair, I'm, I'm both slightly tempted and more put off from the idea of getting it at the same time. Yeah, you're in a weird boat, aren't you? Yeah, because it's so full of charm and it does things I like, but... It's also, again, it's lit I've played this game so many times, this specific Pokemon sort of thing. And, the, you know, the difficulty problem is that, uh, you know, I, I don't like the idea of catching all those Pokemon without effectively giving them proper care. As it were, you know, you're just catching for the sake of catching. Just to get some candy. You know? Yeah. Um. But, um. You know, but at the same time, there's things I like about it, but there's things I don't like. And I guess in the end of the day, what I kind of most want to do, I guess by not wow. purchasing it, is send a message. 
of what I'd rather have. So, yeah, a lot of people. Because like, if I say support and something, the next game goes, you know, they and say, let's go ends up doing better than what Gen Eight does, then they'll think more. Let's go opt for more of a let's go direction sort of thing, which is a yeah. worrying thing to consider. Well, I'm, I, in fact, what I'm currently most worried about is, as you suggested, the future remakes could just be the let's go things. I don't want the eventual Sinnoh remakes to be let's go Sinnoh. Yeah. Neither do I, but it's funny to think about. Um, and I guess in a random thing before you get back to actually I'm not sure even why I'm bringing it up because you probably have very little knowledge of this um, you probably don't know the person's name but recently uh, John Cunlife has uh, passed away or Cunliffe if you rather um, and he was the creator of uh, Rosie and Tim and Postman Pat you may have heard of one of those but then again, you are very, very young, and I am very old, so... I heard of both of those. Oh, that's good. It does help. <clears throat> I think Kiros has mentioned it several times before, obviously. Because he mentions all the shit. I can't believe that he once managed to get the whole Warhammer shop doing uh, Bill and Ben voices. I can imagine that. <laughs> well, hey, huh. you're not lagging. You know where everything is. Yeah, I just need to not be terrible. Yeah, it must have been... Yeah. Also, it's like... <laughs> So it turns. It's so, what? Like. Okay, I deserve that. Like, part of the issue is. Um, enemies. Well, you're obviously not feeling well, but yeah. Well, yeah, that doesn't help. But. Your gun does free damage. Yeah. At most. Hush, bullet. You have to hit with multiple bullets to be able to do with more than that, but that only happens at close range. The upgrade's actually better suited for bosses than standard enemies. Yeah. Or flying enemies. Everything keeps giving you money, which you do not need. And so it's basically impossible to avoid actual combat in a mode that's not suited for combat. And so the enemy placement becomes a hundred times more frustrating because you don't have the ability to deal with it. I reckon the weaker gun might be because for certain situations you can kill the enemies immediately with the uh, puzzle mechanic. Yeah, except half the enemies don't move, so... Okay, it's fine. A little bit over eager there, but okay. Yeah, because I was going on the assumption that he'd be dead after I unloaded about five bullets into his head at point blank range. You really think bullets could kill? <laughs> You're right. Only a few. It's like one of those sort of animes where it's like, like, what are you going to do with that gun? I have a sword. Or you thought you could beat a, a beat a, a gun? Uh, you thought you could beat my fist with a gun? Please. Also, it's like... Who brings a gun to a yo-yo fight? Which ties in perfectly to Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want to talk more about that, because... Ah, oh, original Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, what's he doing? Don't you know how dangerous yo-yos are? Uh, please, uh, don't talk about yo-yos. I was assaulted by a yo-yo gang. What's he doing? Those yo-yos could kill him! Like... I'm not even joking here. Those are actual, actual things that happened. Whilst so also Yu-Gi murdering people, because, you know, the Pharaoh was a... Douche in the original Yu Gi Oh! It's like, I'm doing half this stuff, even though it's poorly, relatively flawlessly. Which I know doesn't. You're doing the jumping, right? You're just know, jumping. But it's like, even with that in mind, how would you escape Wilbur? Mm. Like, collecting everything, you can't physically go. I mean, I could try give it a go if you want. No. That is a consistent theme, yes. Like... I can see your problem. What you need to do... Because uh. going going fast just gets you hit by the enemies, but if you don't go fast, you can't do it. To be fair, at, at this moment you're in the perfect position. You've got full health, you've got max gun. Yes, I've been in that same position the last five times, Liam. Really, you've got everything going for you. 
you've seen every area so far. Oh, thanks for the heart when I'm full health. I am the one to the blue moon heart! Have you been using the R button for the switch? It makes no difference. Okay. Because, like, jump is right next to it anyway. I felt more comfortable anyway, but. Each their own. Also, because I kept instinctively pressing it because of, um, hat. What? Pirate hat. Oh. Sign to the R. So I kept instinctively pressing it. Is there anything more about you, you? Or you want to focus on this I'm instead. kind of trying to get this done because I'm fed up with it. Ah, okay. Um, let's see. Anything other than the uh, check to talk about all the fact that the creator of Postman Pat has passed away. That's sad. I... Oh. Okay, you can't do that. Um, spikes. Always a nuisance. Um, I was trying to see if there are like, shortcuts. No. So you can actually do this, but... Apparently not. Shortcuts I don't mean, exist. I wonder how prolific Postman Pat is across the pond because it's a very British sort of series. Um, oh, okay. You just. I'm gonna. I said I'm gonna kill myself. Fair enough. Um, it's a very British series, so I'm worried that the only sort of uh, experience the people outside the UK have properly had with Postman Pat is through. That movie, which I wouldn't say is a good representation, there are no killer. There are no killer robots in Postman Pat, and to my knowledge, Postman Pat never went on X Factor. But hey, that's how the movie went. Um, a bit of a charming series characters. of a catchy Those tune. Um, it's kind of like a children's version of a soap. Yeah, Rosie and Jim as well. They're, they're very endearing sort of younger kids sort of shows. Not much to really say about, it, but you know. They were good times. All right. Um, Nothing against them. Yeah. So, uh, that's really... Uh, oh, well, I did keep some short things to comment on as a quick fire thing. Just, uh, Rafi can always comment them on later, you know, when he's uh, not so distracted. Um, let's see. Uh, things that have happened recently. Um... Let's see, that one's Fortnite related, so I'm just going to cross that one out, because I don't want to talk about Fortnite, if I can help it. Um, well, on the bright side, for any of you who uh, like Ubisoft, but also want to, uh, or are interested in stock markets and such, uh, French company Vivendi, uh, who was trying to basically do a takeover of uh, French company Ubisoft, because you can do that in France, it's kind of weird, uh, they have uh, seemingly, uh, after Ubisoft have kept resisting them, sold off, uh, well, plan to sell off their remaining Ubisoft stock, which is like 35% uh, of the company. So uh, Ubisoft seems to have fought off the Vendi and freed themselves. So good on Ubisoft. Because, as uh, whilst some people can say that Ubisoft is not exactly great, uh, if Vivendi have bought Ubisoft, the only uh, real outcome people were expecting is that basically Ubisoft would literally become EA. Because I feel like, kind of like what Vivendi had planned for Ubisoft to a degree. Or, on the other hand, Vivendi would probably just strip Ubisoft of everything. To be fair, giant, you know, sort of companies wanting to try and do that sort of thing isn't actually uh, new to France because Infogrames did the exact same thing back in the day, which resulted in the death of many British video game studios because um, they tried to... Um, but they were basically buying up Brit, uh, European studios in an attempt to basically become oh, the right, become the uh, European version of EA. Which, it's weird to think, you know... Someone wanted to be the European version of EA? Yes. Gosh, that was a... That, that seemed to have more health than normal. Oh no, no it's because you lost so much level, yeah. Down. Also, but, hooray! That is quite possibly the dumbest position. So let's end the episode here. Oh, thank God, health. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, basically, yeah, uh, Ubisoft is free of Vivendi. Yeah, I'm never. And Rafi got yet. that through that level. So lots of cheers, which leads into cheerio.